I'm Ty, and welcome to Yakin' Texas. Topic for today is the Boga Grip versus the Hobie Fish Grip. Some cool things about the Hobie Fish Grip are it's very light, it's plastic, and when you clamp it on, it locks on tight. The Hobie Fish Grip also floats. It comes in a variety of bright colors. I have the, the, the white color that glows in the dark. There's nothing to rust on the Hobie Fish Grip. It's all plastic. It has a, a, a springy elastic lanyard. They price out at around $16, I think, maybe $14 to $16, somewhere in there. Hobie Fish Grip is great for kayaks. Why? Because it's light. Where the Hobie Fish Grip uh, loses traction is for smaller fish. The, the bite on it is, is kind of wide. So when you're talking smaller fish, you can't really get it in their mouth. But overall, usually smaller stuff you sling in the boat anywhere or use, use your hands for. It's just when you hook that big, that big something that you need some leverage on. Let's compare it to a true boga grip or the knockoff Shakespeare. Now, a real boga grip, they price at over $100, $110, $20, something like that, $30. Um, you'll see my, my old boga grip here in these pictures. The boga grip is expensive. We love it in the fly fishing world because we can take a really accurate weight on a fish after we grab them. The boga grip has very fine grips on it and you can put it in the smallest fish's mouth. It's a very delicate thing. And the scale, the IGFA, I mean, it's, it, it can be pretty exact. Uh, the scale is really good on a true boga grip. Uh, the problem with the true boga grip, it, they don't really rust. It's got really good stainless parts on it. The only issue with the true boga grip is it's heavy. You drop it over, 130 bucks on the bottom of the of the lake. So you got to be careful with a true boga. You have to put floats on them, and that's why you'll always see lanyards or big floats on a true boga grip. The Shakespeare boga grip knockoff. I have one of these too. They're like 20, 25 dollars. They're, they're pretty cheap. It's basically a boga grip with no scale on it. Uh, Some of them come with a little tape measure on them. But basically, it's just the gripper part of the boga grip. And they work great, too. Once again, they're heavy. The parts rust a lot more than a true boga grip, but not too bad. If you rinse them off, they last for a long time. I've had mine for a good while. But the Shakespeare boga knockoff it is great in the sense that, once again, you can get delicate with the clamps on smaller stuff, little specks and stuff, croaker or whatever. You can grab them with this thing and not have to touch them. So in summation, who's the winner? The true boga grip, or the Shakespeare boga grip knockoff, or the uh, Hobie fish grip. I say Hobie fish grip. 16 bucks, 14 bucks, floats, doesn't rust, you don't have to worry about it, no lanyard, no rusting parts, might even glows in the dark. If you haven't tried one, get it. It's inexpensive. When I'm dealing with yaks, I like everything to be as light as possible. Give us uh, your feedback on what your favorite thing is. I'm Ty. Until next time, we're going to be chatting kayak fishing in Texas right here on Yakin, Texas. If you haven't seen my fishing show 30 Miles Out, you can check it out right here on YouTube or go to 30milesout.com.